Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, it looks like rain chances on the way for tomorrow. And then, oh, by the way, as the camera's coming in, that's Marcel Fontenot on the other side of the camera. How about that? Weather, she can do it all. Weather-wise, we are looking at big changes, though, over the next couple of days. Let's get over to the weather wall. Marcel, you want to try the wall, too? No, Okay, just checking. Here we go. Big picture across the lower 48. More snow in the northeast, mostly snow showers. West is starting to get busy, and as it gets busy, we're going to see disturbances riding out into the northern plains. But that's also going to get the subtropical jet stream busier, and we are seeing clouds already moving in, and showers won't be far behind. It looks like activity may get kicking first thing tomorrow morning. Now, it's not going to be a washout of a day, but the models have been all over the place. I'm going I'll show you three and we'll try to dope it out together. Uh, but you do see the clouds on the increase, so that means temperatures are going to be holding up as we head into the overnight hours. So here we go with our predictive radar. I think it has a very good handle on what we think is going to happen. Some scattered showers pre dawn hours tomorrow. Better rain chances central Louisiana on northeast where, where there could be a couple of strong storms. And notice how the activity really begins to blossom out first thing in the morning. Here we go with scattered showers across Acadiana, so that's a 50 60 percent chance so an activity continues to progress eastward through the mid morning hours tomorrow this is where i think the greatest risk of severe weather will be if we have any eastern louisiana into mississippi and in the northern part of the state a little bit earlier but as we get deeper into the afternoon we may see more storms as well rpm model i haven't been showing it to you today because it's been kind of out to lunch kind of showing the same scenario through first thing in the morning scattered showers mid morning hours 9 10 o'clock in the morning and some thunder and then as we get into the afternoon the model not showing a whole lot but there's going to be favorable upper level winds aloft uh, we're going to have uh, plenty of instability so we do think we're going to see more scattered activity than we're showing you tomorrow but by tomorrow evening things may be quieting down and then we as we get into Saturday we'll see showers and storms firing back up once again especially during the afternoon hours European model that's the model to go with of the last couple of years here's your Friday Friday forecast at midday, but notice the activity pretty much diminishes as we head into the evening hour. So we might get downtown alive in or whatever plans you have for tomorrow evening. Going into Saturday, scattered showers and thunder showers firing up. It looks like early afternoon. Tomorrow, rain chance at about 70%. Saturday here, we're looking at about a 50% chance. And then as we go into Sunday, it looks like a little bit more in the way of coverage and maybe some stronger storms as well going into Sunday afternoon. Then going into Monday. Of course, the weekend is done. The sun comes back out. It's going to be nice and warm with temperatures getting into the lower 80s. Cool front sweeps through the area Monday night into early Tuesday, and that sets up very nice weather for the rest of next week. Not looking at big rain totals. Here's the European model estimates. Anywhere between a half inch, inch and a half will be common over three days, so not looking at any flooding issues whatsoever. Severe weather risk, a little bit of a different story. We're hatched in for a marginal risk. That's just a 5% chance of an isolated storm within a 25 miles uh, radius of any point in this area of green, uh, something that could produce hail, maybe damaging winds. Those are the primary threats. Can't rule out an isolated tornado. Severe weather dynamics will be stronger to the north tomorrow. They're going to shift farther to the north Saturday, but we might see another severe weather risk as we go into Sunday. Temperature wise will be in the upper 50s, but rise into the low to mid 60s by morning, mid to upper 70s tomorrow. Then we stay in the soupy upper 60s tomorrow night. And then as we go into uh, Saturday afternoon, temperatures will be topping out upper 70s to lower 80s, depending on the cloud cover and shower activity. So some showers by tomorrow morning, temperatures leveling off right around midnight and then actually rise. 77 the high tomorrow. We'll go with a 70% chance of rain and storms. Right now we're saying morning through the early afternoon, best rain chances tomorrow. 50% for St. Patrick's Day, 60% on Sunday. And as mentioned, maybe a severe weather risk then on Sunday as well. Maybe a little bit more robust than what we're expecting tomorrow. And then good weather will follow as spring officially kicks in on the calendar Tuesday morning at 1115. But we'll have to watch a few storms tomorrow. Uh, they may be a little bit dynamic, but... Uh,